So welcome everybody, I'm Moltres and we are gonna play The Last Door, the collector's edition. I actually played the first episode of this game a really long time ago and I actually like it a lot. And after, actually now they're gonna release the, sec the second season so well, I'm actually behind all the all the process of the ideal development of the game but well what the fuck I'm gonna play it anyways so this, is the, this is the collector's edition this already has the four episodes on it and and a few extra episodes which I'm very excited to play actually but yes uh, we're gonna continue actually it's the first episode so yeah okay right away after all the things I have seen Okay, I, I actually don't remember very well the first episode, and I actually played when it was on like in beta, so I'm pretty sure a lot of shit hap uh, changed. So we pick up like, kind of a rope or some bullshit like that, and that's uh, after all the things I have done. Oh, that's a chair and a rope. Okay, okay, this is promising. I cannot skip the course. My life, my life has taken. All right, <laughs> now I am beyond redemption. Okay, okay, straightaway suicide. That's pretty neat. I just hope you can forgive me someday. Okay, I actually, I'm not gonna set you for anything else to do, but yeah, I think pretty, we're pretty sure we got to kill ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Yours sincerely, Anthony Beachworth. Beachworth? Beachwork? Worth? I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. <laughs> okay. Nice title, title, title screen. <laughs> do, 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 do. That's pretty neat, neat music. Uh, the Game Kitchen. The developers. This is actually a game made by Spanish, by Spanish to you. Well, actually, which I actually think is pretty neat, actually pretty cool. We're gonna let the credits in and hear the fucking awesome music. So yeah, a lot of crows. <laughs> Alan, <laughs> Edgar Allan Poe to the highest. Uh, October 1891. Okay. Videte ne quis siat. I don't know what the fuck. That was all my childhood friend Anthony. I'm gonna call it uh, Beachworth. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to do that. I don't know. So, uh, Beachworth had written in his letter, letter, sorry, it had been many years since I, I had heard that sentence, it was the motto of the science and philosophy group that we had secretly run as students back when we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland, but we had left it all behind, like many childhood, childhood dreams. That letter was unusual could only mean something awful must have happened, something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. Okay, without delay I took the first morning train to Sox 6. I made my way to the address on the letter, sorry for mispronouncing all that shit. And there it was, the old house of Anthony's family, the beach, the beach worth manor. Okay. So we're gonna visit the guy just that just killed himself. Uh, the letter, episode one. Okay. So we have a lens. Okay. I actually really like this kind of games. So we can go. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty neat. What the fuck are those crows doing? Come on, guys. Oh. 
Those crows are too vicious. Getting close would could be dangerous. Come on, man. That's that's gotta be a sign, you know. That ain't fucking uh, right. It is. It is latched from the inside. Okay. Fucking hell. This is strange. Everything's silent. If there was no one living here. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. Okay. There's a note. It is. Dear Mr. Bigworth, due to the recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us and, much to our regret, we have no other choice to what to live. We will remain forever grateful for all these years in your service. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. Okay. Um, 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 okay. Let's search the first floor first. A machine that plays recorded music. I did not know that Anthony was such an enthusiast. Of new inventions. Okay, a cabinet with glasses and some liquor bottles. There is also a matchbox. You can grab it. Oh, you actually can. I don't think it's not in here. Okay, we can enter here. A, a sea escape. There is a small boat struggling against the roaring waves. Okay, we're entering a lot of rooms. That's actually, that's actually weird in these kind of games. But I fair. Okay, nothing weird. I can grab something. The cloth. Okay, plates and pans. Can I light this shit up? I can't. Okay. Oh well, well, what? Oh, fuck. Okay. That's a uh, plate with some days old left leftovers. Okay, let's check this door out. I have unlatched the door. Oh, this is the back door then. Is that where the crows are? Yep, can I light you guys up? <laughs> I can. Ah, oh, fuck. And, nah, I can't do shit right now. Okay, let's, let's search some shit. What is this icon if I... Oh, okay, if I double click it. Yeah, it teleports me right away. Uh, right. This portrait is crooked. Can I? This is still crooked. Okay, what the fuck? Okay. Okay, that was unexpected. An old rosary. A cord of beads with a solid wooden crucifix. We can grab it. Can I light it up? <laughs> fuck. Fucking shit. Okay. All right. March 5th, 1891. Master Anthony has made us get rid of our religious objects. What is going on with him? Luckily, I have found a place to hide my rosary. I cannot pray every night without it. May 18th, 1891. Master Anthony has been complaining about Alfie. What would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I cannot let that poor thing starve. He's such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about Master Anthony. He's grown more and more unlike himself every day. September 15th, 1891. Master Anthony is spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door, but he barely eats anything. I'm really worried. I like Dr. Jekyll, mate. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, an empty bowl, bowl that they once used to feed pets. I can feed a cat, I guess. The window is so dirty I can barely see through the outside. Uh, I can open it? I actually can. I cannot do anything. Okay. Oh, uh, it looks like the window frame is rotten. Some kind of cord. Okay. I love to lap the way. Oh, I can grab it. I actually. Okay. Ah, I, I can light that up, right? Oh, yes. There's a tiny dark hole in the wall. Oh, but they removed my matches? What the fuck? I only had one. Oh, come on, Anthony. Fucking asshole. Fucking asshole. 
Fucking Wonka. <sighs> okay, a plant. <laughs> okay. Oh, holy crap. This, uh, this is actually locked. A key. A key. The music change. Okay. Well, oh, we actually cannot. Okay. The door is stuck, it won't open. Okay. We actually couldn't be here right away. It's fucking dark. Without the lamp, we couldn't have seen shit. Okay. Holy fuck, they actually. <laughs> the music really got intense now. This doorway has been boarded up. I don't give a shit. Um, it's open. This must be Anthony's Anthony's uh, room, right? Oh, it's Silver King. That's fucking oh well, grab it, mate. There we go. There's something else. No, bet a double bet from the accumulated dust. I was I would guess it has not been slept in for a very long time. Okay, so Anthony was in some pretty dark shit. Small photographs and old dag daguerreotypes, mostly family portraits. Can I grab anything? I can't. The fireplace is black with soot. Uh, right, a gentleman with a serious and inquisitive, inquisitive look. Oh my god. This window leads to a balcony shell with the adjacent door. Can I open it? Oh, I can. Oh no, I can't. <laughs> I can open the latch. It is stuck. Perhaps I could do. I could do so using a small tool. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Down in the in the in the first floor, the window cannot be open until I have like a, some kind of cord. This fucking rosary has a cord. Oh my god, I'm a fucking idiot. So we can use this shit. There we go. Come on, mate. Come on, John. I don't know. I'm gonna call you John until they give you a real name. It actually worked. Yeah, nice. Ah, oh, fuck is the basement. <laughs> I don't wanna go to the basement, man. Hmm. I think this is late disc record. This leaf reads the Carnival of Venice, and I can grab it. Oh, for the for the thing, <laughs> I don't remember the name. Then we have another thing. A lot of things down here. <laughs> A slightly rusted iron crowbar. Can I grab it? I also can grab it. Holy shit, mate! Oh, we have a small pile of firewood, twigs, and chunks of dry bark. Can I grab it? No, I can't. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. The boiler looks like it has been out of use for a long time. Okay. And this. Okay. Okay. That was actually pretty good. We got a crowbar and a record. So I assume the crowbar is going to help us uh, open the um, balcony on the, um, on the second floor and the record well we're gonna we're gonna have to play I guess with the thingy they actually they actually don't have they actually don't put a name on it uh, well we're gonna now play this fucking record here let's see how it is. Hmm. <laughs> That's pretty neat, actually. Um, it must be broken. I don't know how to make it stop. Oh. What the fuck? Um. Um, hello mates, nice to meet you here. 
I'm gonna go back. Uh, you are not going to be there anymore. Oh, you are there. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm gonna go upstairs, guys, if you don't mind. Bye, guys. See you later. Well, that was unexpected. Oh, wait. Maybe they were the crows that were on the back side, you know? Maybe they're not here anymore? <gasps> they're not here anymore. What, what the fuck is that, mate? It's moving? A dying crow, not much life left in it. They were fucking eating a crow? Oh, and now I actually can grab the fucking thing. That's pretty neat. That's pretty cheerful, man. What the fuck's going on, man? Uh, okay, whatever. What the fuck? The thing is screaming. I actually know. I actually know what to do with this shit. It's actually pretty obvious. I actually gotta put it as a bait for the cat to come in. Oh my god, that's fucking, that's fucking bad, man. So the cat's gonna do something. Can I return and okay? Fucking oh. Oh fuck, that was creepy. What the fuck? Whoa. Where did the crow go? What the fuck sounding? That's fucking... There's a tiny dark hole in the wall. The crow's gone, yeah. Nice, nice, John. Um, wow, mate. Now that, the, now that the music is gone, it actually got a, a whole... A whole uh, lot creepy. The sound is louder down here. Oh, it's, it is down here. Okay. It's the cat, right? Come on, John. Speed it up, mate. Oh, it is, it is in here? The cat seems to be behind this wall. Uh, okay, I might break it with a crowbar. I cannot break down the wall with it. With this... Oh my god, I'm gonna have to hear this fucking cat crying. That ain't right, mate. <laughs> okay, whatever. Whatever. Let's let's try to find what the fuck I need to do. Let's try to open this crap. Shit up. Yeah, I know. I know. Fuck. Fuck, I know. Oh, you motherfucker. I cannot use it here? Wait, what? This is a small tool, well, kind of. Maybe then the boards? Maybe this shit? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. I almost, I almost, I, I actually got pretty confused that I was like, fucking hell, oh. Oh, what the fuck, that's a corpse? Leave... Leave me alone, okay. My god, <laughs> what has happened here? Okay... It is a letter. Dear Margaret, it has been days since Anthony left this office. I can hear him whisper angrily, frightfully, and it get worse at, at night. At service left a few days ago. Without the help and company, I am lost. I can barely walk out of bed and not even the doctor will come here after his argument with Anthony. My husband has developed a horrible ability to break anyone's will. I do not know what to do. I do not have any strength left. I wish I could send this, you this letter. You de your dear friend, Anna Beachworth. Anna, okay. In a fetal handwriting. I cannot go on. All is lost. And the last one, the diary page. I cannot stand their stares. They watch me. They judge me. They despise me. I know they I know they think I am not worthy of his family. What? But who are they? But dust and bones? A memory. Leave me. I do not need you. Leave me alone. Well, fucking hell, Anna. What the shit. <laughs> Lifeless body of a woman. It has been here for a few days. Looks 
Looks like she is uh, clutching a note in her hand. Okay, <laughs> let's rip the fucking note. I am writing what will surely be my final thoughts, my last lines, my last, last breath. I do not know what kind of dark power has turned my husband into what he is now. A stranger. With a look bereft, bereft of all sanity, compassion and human warmth. I do not know what shadow has slowly darkened our lives. I do not know this foreign, foreign guest that now delves in our soul. I do not know where it is from, but I am sure it is not from this world. I will meet my brother and sister soon. I will be here from this abyss of madness and fear. Soon I will be stopped trembling. Okay, what the fuck? A simple long hairpin. Oh, this is the small tool we're gonna open for. Open the fucking balcony. As a fucking crowbar cannot work with that, but a hairpin could. Oh, whatever. And a wheelchair. Okay. Of course, you need to f to have a fucking wheelchair. Silent Hill style. Nothing of interest on this dressing table. Okay, we have a fucking room actually here. Oh wait, I actually didn't pick up the fucking hairpin. Oh come on, jump, grab it for fuck's sake. Oh, the music is start up again. Nice. So we got a lot of portraits. Uh, a woman. She looks like the woman in the, on the bed. This old man bears some resemblance to Anthony. This young woman, not yet in her twenties, a man with blonde hair. A portrait of Anthony standing beside a mounted wild cat or lynx. The paint looks fresher around the animal's head. Okay, that was actually quite an interesting thing to point out, so I think... Whoa, the music is top. That was fucking weird. Oh, okay. Um, maybe? That would just mirror the fresh paint. So I actually can remove it. Okay, I need to find something else maybe. Alright. So let's get the fuck out of here. And search more. Oh well, now I can actually open this fucking thing, right? Yep. Using the headpin I have managed to spring the latch in with ease. Okay. Oh, okay, so I'll automatically enter the next room. Oh, this is uh, a lynx mounted, mounted and stuffed. This is a fine work of taxidermy. Okay, some sort of spiral chemical product. It smells strongly of vinegar. Okay, vinegar. A kind of paint thinner. Oh, I'm gonna have to use this crap. I dumped the cloth with paint thinner. Yep. <laughs> Okay, that was not actually not that difficult. Remains of chemical experiments. Uh, a few a few press cuttings pinned to the wall. The Illustrated London News, 1887. Judge kills himself under strange circumstances. The Daily Telegraph, 1888. Earl found dead floating in the Thames. The Times, 1889. Famous actor found bled to death. In his hotel room, hotel room. Okay, what we got here? Come on, hammer in good condition. Oh, <gasps> a hammer. Oh, I can. Oh, the door. Okay. I think nothing else. There's a there's a hatch there. On top of the ladder, there is a strap door with a keyhole, reinforced with gold. A keyhole. Oh, that ain't. I'm not gonna waste my time, mate. It's, it's obviously. Fucking clo uh, fucking locked. Okay, so now we're gonna use the shit here and we're gonna remove the paint. Now let's see what the secrets await us. What secrets await us? Uh, the Tina has worked. Okay, nice. <laughs> the fresh paint is gone and now I can see the original painting. Link's mouth is open as if it were growling. Wait, what?
Wait, what? So, so the only thing that the, now we know is that the lynx is is growling. Oh wait, it's gonna be some magic shit. Like now the statue here is it has his his mouth open. I don't get it. This lynx looks like the one in Anthony's portrait. Its mouth is shut like it was before I revealed the original painting. Well, open it, cunt. I, I still need something. So, maybe there's something inside the lynx? <laughs> the music has some strange ways to stop. It's actually kind of funny. Okay, so let's go down, I guess, because I think I'm gonna be able to release the fucking cat. Yeah, there he is, fucking screaming. Uh, I'm gonna be able to release the, the cat uh, with the hammer. Okay, I know, I know. Come on, John. Move, move. Okay, yeah, it worked. Come on, cat, get the fuck out of here. What the fuck? A black cat is staring at me. But wait, its eyes are missing. <laughs> what the shit, man? Good lord, <laughs> it almost ripped my ass out. It was, it has run away into the dark. There is an open chest with a dark cloak, a mask, and a knife. And hey, we are gonna grab the knife. And nothing else. Can I? Yeah, you can. Yeah, I can. Totally can. I managed to get the lynx, the lynx's mouth open. There's a golden key inside, and I bet I can use this shit for open the hatch. Yep. So we have found Anthony at last. <laughs> uh, well, we already know what the fuck happened with with him. There's actually a portrait here. Okay, well, what's Anthony's wife? Perhaps she looks very happy here. Okay. So there's nothing else, nothing else to actually check on here. Just Anthony. All right, let's see. The lifeless body of my dear friend, what madness could have led him to commit such an act? There is something in his pocket. Okay, I'm gonna grab something. It is a sealed letter. Dear J. David, if you are reading these lines, then I am nothing but a dead body hanging before you. I write to you in my last shreds of lucidity. You are one of my oldest friends. I want to send you the letter asking you to come here. I did not doubt for a moment that, would, that you would. Had you failed me this evening, everything would have been lost. I have found myself involved in a series of horrible incidents. For reasons beyond my comprehension and sanity, I have become a total stranger to myself and to my closest relatives. Capable of capable of the most indescribable and atrocious acts. I cannot give you any more details at this time. I must ask you to go immediately back to the boarding school we were made at Pact, where we all saw on our honor, honor that sentence that would protect us. There is something sounding? What the fuck? This letter must not reach anyone else, so it is imperative that you destroy it immediately. The lives of the rest of the group, and yours too, are in great danger. Do not delay, they are already waiting for you. Seeing is believing, David. Do not forget that. Always your loyal friend, Anthony Beechworth. So he's actually J. David? It's John, mate! <laughs> it's fucking John! Okay. <gasps> oh, fuck off. Off. Pieces of shit. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, Rose? What the fuck, mate? What's your problem, mate? Alright. 
And okay, what the fuck? That was actually ep the first episode. That was the adventure continues in episode two. Yeah, it was. It was a pre actually kind of kind of old game now. Well, thank you everybody for watching the first episode. I mean, it was fucking awesome. Actually, I actually pre actually dig in this game. You know, it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. It's pretty. It had the, the ambiance, the, the fucking, I don't know what to say, like what to call it, man. It's, it's, it's pretty cool, it's actually pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, this, is, this has been Motress, and thank you everyone for watching. I hope you stick for the next uh, episodes on the series. Uh, yeah, have a, have a nice day, bye.